Hello everyone. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about cervical spine X-ray. So, first of all, we have to know the indications of cervical spine X-ray. So, if a patient have some road traffic accident and if the patient have a history of fall from height and if he has a neck injury, then the patient have to undergo cervical spine X-ray. And some non-traumatic cases like neck pain, patients will have to go cervical spine X-ray. And if the patient have an upper limb pain, then also the patient have to go undergo cervical spine X-ray. So generally, the spinal nerves which supplies the uh, upper limb comes out from the cervical region, lower cervical region. So that's why to evaluate the spinal cord, we have to do the cervical spine X-ray. Exposure factors, the distance, that means the distance between flim and focus, FFD, is 100 cm. KBP is 75, MAS is 30 and green will be there for AP views and the views which you will do on the X-ray table. But for erect views, there will be no grid. Cassette size will be 10 into 12 inch, and the film size will be accordingly. Then, patient preparation. For patient preparation, we have to ask the patient to remove all the radiopic substances from the region of interest, and that is same for all other radiographs. Then, we have to describe the patient what's the procedure is, and that is also same for all the radiographs then we have to ask the patient the history properly and that is also same for all the radiographs then lastly we have to ask the patient not to move during the exposure <coughs> so the basic projections of cervical x-ray are lateral ap open mouth and ap 3 to 7 cervical vertebra so the first one will be lateral array in the lateral projection all the cervical vertebra are seen clearly that's why we will do the lateral projection first so for a lateral projection we have to ask the patient to stand by the side of the extra stand the patient's sagittal plane should be perpendicular to the cassette then we have to ask the patient to look straight and we have to ask the patient to raise his scene a little bit otherwise the angle of mandible will be superimposed on the cervical vertebra then we have to ask the patient to hold some weight so that the shoulder comes little bit downwards so that the thoraco cervical junction becomes clear the central area will be at the level of um, at the level sorry the central area will be below one inch from the level of angle of mandible and on the cervical vertebra so this is the difference between weight bearing and non-weight bearing in this image you can see non weight bearing picture here the shoulders are straight and it will be superimposed with the <coughs> thoraco cervical junction but here when you give some weight to the patient the shoulders get depressed and the thoraco cervical junction becomes clear so this is the radiograph of cervical lateral here you can see c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 c7 vertebra and the t1 vertebra means the first thoracic vertebra if we haven't give the uh, weight to the patient then the shoulder it will it would have superimposed on this region then we cannot see the c7 vertebra vertebral body properly 
so here you can see the spinous process of the cervical vertebras this is occipital bone this is angle of mandible so you can see the trachea here which is hypotense and out here you can see the soft tissue and here the soft tissue will be esophagus you can see neck muscles also here and this is left lateral because uh, the left side of the patient is nearer to the flame so that we have put a left marker here to indicate the left lateral next the lateral supine position so this one is a improvised position for the patient of trauma so generally trauma patients um, we cannot move the trauma patients by our own so that we have to improvise our technique for the trauma patients the patient will be on the on the stretcher or you can shift the patient to the extra table but he will be still the patient will be still so that's why you have to put a horizontal uh, x-ray and a vertical cassette and the centering will be same but the positioning is little bit different 